Elfin Lee, the original John Wick film, the anime you only start watching because you're horny. We begin on Skull Island, where we witness a very chained and very naked woman massacre guards with her invisible arms called vectors. Through divine intervention, a door opens, freeing the woman, only to give her permanent brain damage via 50 cal. With that bang, we transition to Quida, our main protagonist and his cousin Yuka. There will be no kinky cousin love. Plot convenience brings all three characters together on a beach. Abduction follows as Quida names her as if she were a Pokemon. You. You seems like a good name. Elfin Lee quickly fulfills all my kinks, bondage, pissing, and mental retardation. Back on Skull Island, a task force is formed to eliminate New. They dispatch on the very same beach New is at after she breaks a priceless memento from Koita's dead sister. Through repeated head trauma, Lucy reawakens to live out her dream as a chiropractor, only to revert to New before the happy ending. Somberly, all of our main characters return to the house for more sexy shit. Some time passes and Koita develops a fever from a recent gun bashing, while Yuka exhibits her only personality trait of being a bitter cousin fucker, pointing all resentment towards New for the entire series. Whereas the rejuvenation of Koita is followed by meeting two homeless bitches coming to return his lost umbrella. Through more sexual harassment, abduction, and music, Lucy reawakens deciding to go on a dog freeing spree. Returning to Skull Island, Kurama sets two plans into motion, releasing a fellow Declonius to hunt down Lucy and creating the $6 man Bandobot, who chooses to run over castration. Through spidey senses and daddy issues, Nana can find Lucy at all times, resulting in a quick trackdown. Through desecration and disassembly, this reunion is cut short. Dad interrupts the fun, and through brain poking, Lucy returns home reverting back to New. Mayu ends up alone after a dog gets stolen, while Quida and Yuka go searching for her. The reward for all of this is a very uncomfortable backstory from Mayu. This prompts Koda to adopt the stranger. As a dogger returns and time passes, Koda decides to take New to college for plot convenience. This shockingly ends poorly as the professor convinces Koida to leave New with him. After stripping and drugging New, Lucy reawakens and ends this before freakier shit starts. Koida a few hours later realizes he's a fucking moron, so he goes back for New. He never finds New, but he does find a scientist and traumatic memories. Empty handed, Koida returns home enlisting the help of Yuka and search for New. The pair arrive in a temple to share some cousin kisses and to find a teleporting New. Meanwhile, Kurama is ordered to kill Nana, but instead sets her free with wads of paperweight. Mayu around the same time is conveniently going around searching for answers when she runs the Nana in a graveyard. The homeless home we form and the duo head back to the house, only for Nana to kick the shit out of poor New. One bitch slap later and the homeless hussies are back on the street where Nana spills all of her secrets to Mayu. After the beating, New reverts back to Lucy. We are then graced with John Wick's backstory. Lucy is in an orphanage, rightfully getting bullied for being a horned freak. One day while exploring, she finds a little pup who turns into her only friend. But one day, bullies get a hold of it and… yeah. The loss of a friend is ushered by a new one as Lucy meets Quida for the first time and the two do fun things like go to the zoo and getting naked. Elfin Lee doesn't fucking care how old you are, you're getting naked. Before the two separate, Koita lies to Lucy saying its cousin is male. Lucy finding out the truth results in a rampage that ends in Koita's sister dying. Back in the present, the homeless hags return to apologize and Koita adopts another horned freak. Skull Island provides another flashback, this time about the experiments done on Declonius's. Also how brain pokes cause males to have Declonius children and how Kurama kills kids. Except his. His gets to live and become the most dangerous to Clonius title number 35, who they decide to free in another attempt to recapture Lucy. Mariko isn't very obedient to begin with, but body bombs help her see reason. Chroma not liking this enlists Bendobot who is busy with community service and childcare to help him rescue Nana. Nana can detect Mariko arriving, so she goes to confront her. The end result is of course nudity, because why wouldn't it be? Before Nu and Koita chase after Nana, Nu decides to do her best impression of Koita's dead sister. They arrive with enough time for more head trauma, so Nu becomes Lucy permanently. Through brain poke, speed boats, and indiscriminate slaughter, all three escape from Mariko. Our final battle culminates to an idiot versus a paraplegic, with Mariko getting the upper hand. Lucy never stood a chance to begin with because daddy issues are Mariko's only weakness, so Kurama steps in and goes out with a bang, saving everyone from humanity's exterminator. In the final moments of Elfin Lead, Koita forgives Lucy for slaughtering his family and even admits he loves her, only for Lucy to sacrifice herself in a hell of bullets. Psych, she's still alive, she fixed the clock. That end to the horniest show you can't finish to.